In the second lecture on uh, uh, principles of microscopy, I talked about how these things create images. Now these things, this is a converging lens. So I talked about that it's a glass lens, you can see through it, and uh, if I just tilt it a little bit, you can see it's narrow at the edges and becomes thicker in the middle. That's a converging lens, sometimes also known as magnifying glass. So um, is a magnifying glass and a converging lens something different? Well, a converging lens is the general name for these things and they can work as a magnifying glass. So they can do the following. If I hold my finger here, you can try to image my fingernail, hoping I have cleaned it properly. There you are. You can see a fairly enlarged image of my fingernail. So that's how my converging lens now operates as a magnifying glass. And if I look personally at another finger here, my little finger, uh, oh, let's try if I view my thumb, I can see my thumb quite nicely, quite large, but uh, the important thing is you guys can't see a picture of my thumb that's much larger on the table. So this is where my magnifying glass creates an image that only the viewer I can see which is called a virtual image. So I need somebody to look into the lens to see where the light beams seem to originate from and seem to create a larger image. That's a virtual image in this case for the magnifying glass. Now up on the ceiling uh, you can see it a little bit in the reflections of my lens. There are the strip lamps. The uh, uh, fluorescent uh, light bulbs, the strips here, and they're probably one and a half meters long. So I can try now to create with my lens a picture of them. You can see here that bright strip is a picture, an image of the lamps on the ceiling. And depending how I hold it, it'll either become focused or unfocused. If I just get it focused there, you can see that's probably five, six centimeters long, nowhere near the size of the lamps as they are on the ceiling. So this has actually not created a magnified uh, picture of the lamps, but it's actually created a, a reduced image. So it's much smaller, so definitely cannot be described as a magnifying lens. Um, so one of the functions is creating sort of these reduced uh, images. And if you would look at it in more detail, you would see it's flipped, top is bottom, bottom is top, it's inverted. But it's a real image. So I can actually see it on a piece of paper if I, or on the table in this case. So I don't require somebody else looking into the lens and seeing it. There would be nothing there. The light beams actually go through and really come together to a real point. Where in the other case where I was imaging like for you guys now at the top of my finger, what I'm creating here is light beams that seem to originate from uh, an image of my finger that is much more enlarged. But that was a demonstration of creating images with lenses and that's the kind of stuff that we were looking at in lecture 2.